thanks for tuning in. Tia here with Gypsy Fae Creations and I'm just jumping into the soap today. I've pulled out the handy dandy cupcake silicone and can you guess what I'm making? Cupcake soaps. It has been a while. It is the first official cupcake soap of the year and I'm starting with my oils and putting in my live water solution and giving that a whirl. So this is for the base of the cupcakes getting this to a light trace. So the color I'm using is going to be the mocha brown and I'm not going to put too much of this in here because I'm making a pineapple upside down cupcake cake thing. Um, the fragrance I have is a pineapple upside down cake fragrance and I've mixed that in with some vanilla color stabilizer because there is vanilla in it and I don't want the whole entire cupcake to turn brown, especially the icing. So I'm going to start with putting that in my batter and I'm also going to add the brown, mocha brown from Nurture Soap, just a little bit. And one of my co-workers actually gave me the idea for this because I love making these cupcake soaps and I can never figure out which to make, like what kind of cupcake should I make. And she suggested this and so that's what I'm doing. That is all mixed in so I'm going to go ahead and start pouring. I love making cupcake soaps. I just think one, they're easy. <laughs> Two, they're pretty, and three, they just, they catch your attention, like, you don't expect them to be soap, you just expect them to be cupcakes. So that is the best reason to make them, is just to really surprise people. Which I actually um, got an offer to put some of my soaps on display in a salon yesterday, and I went and met with the owner and I'm really excited to have a little section of their salon because the thing is huge like I've never seen a salon this huge I mean it look it was I, I, can't, I can't even describe it it looked like a hotel on one side and then like your normal salon on the other it had um, manicure pedicure you can get your you know your hair cut and colored and all that stuff but then they had this little fancy doorway you went through it was like down a hallway it looked like a hotel with like dimmed lights and carpet and doors and each one was a different kind of spa treatment like salt scrubs and massages and it was just I didn't expect that I did not expect to walk into the shopping center and walk into the salon and be that amazed so I'm like absolutely I will make a display of my soaps and I'm really excited about it. So I wanted to get some cupcakes together to put you know out for people um, and really just kind of work on my inventory. I'm going to be doing some new products. I'm going to be working on some bath teas and some bath bombs with the botanicals that I got from How to Look Pretty and once I make those up I will share those with you guys. And I'm just really looking forward to adding some new products in my lineup and actually have um, a little display in a shop. It's really exciting. I'm a little nervous about it. And plenty of reasons why. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to let this sit for a while so that everything sets up. I'm going to get the icing together. Um, and I'm going to show you the embeds that I made. Or pineapple upside down. I've got some cherries for the top and then I made these pineapple slices which I, I'm I'm so happy with how these turned out because I was struggling you know to come up with an idea for pineapple rings or chunks and that worked. So let me get the icing together and I'll be back. All right don't be fooled by the color of this icing it's the um, bramble berries, buttercup mica and it turns orange in cold process but then it does turn right back so don't be alarmed the icing is not orange it will be yellow so I'm just starting by putting little plops in the middle of each one of these letting that sit and then going back around with the rest and I just want to 
go back to having a display in a store and why I'm a little concerned and nervous about it and it's because of setting up a display like I don't have things to put soaps or lip balms on to make it look like a professional display I guess um, so I'm a, little, I'm a little hesitant on on the whole thing. I kind of went out to different craft stores and tried to look around for decorations and you know things to make it really pop out and look pretty and not like a, a shelf with just some soap sitting on it. So that is one of my main concerns. Um, another one is am I really going to make a profit on this? Um, how much am I going to have to keep up with it? You know, keeping track of the inventory and there's just a lot to think about, but I'm sure it'll all work out. And if you guys are interested, I can um, keep you updated if you want to see what the display looks like once I am done getting it together. I will let you know. St or if you have any suggestions, you know, I'm still working on, you know, putting everything together. This is a different tip, um, normally something I would use with real cupcakes, so I thought I would give it a try. My favorite tip ever is the Wilton, um, oh goodness, <laughs> one, one M, God, I forgot already, I'll check, um, and I usually use that, but I thought I'd, I'd switch things up a little bit and try this one. Um, this is a, this is the one M. Hmm. I had to go get it. It is the Wilton 8B. This is the one you guys usually see me use a lot. Um, but switching things up a little bit. I'm right, just going to finish the tops of these off and then get my embeds on. And they smell so yummy. It makes me actually want to make a real pineapple upside down cake. Unfortunately, I had them so much for my birthdays every year that I kind of, I got, I got sick of that pineapple upside down cakes. Call me crazy. Now for my birthday, I like um, coconut cream pies. Those are my favorite. That's what I ask for every year now. Don't give me the regular cake. I don't like regular cake. I'm weird. I'd rather not eat cake, give me pie. But I did get one every year for my birthday. My mom would always make one. And I'm like a, a snob now when it comes to cake because she would use box cake. And I'm like, no, I don't eat box cake. You give me real homemade cake. <laughs> Just turn my nose up to it. I did like the edges of it. I will eat the edges off of pineapple upside down cake. For some reason that's like the best part. That's where all the crunchy buttery pieces are. Alright, so I'm going to start by putting on the cherries. What is your guys' favorite birthday cake? I just love asking you these questions, these curious questions to get, you know, responses and get you thinking. Leave me a comment down below what your favorite cake is and maybe I'll just use that idea and make cupcakes out of it. I want to make so many more different cupcake soaps, so give me some ideas <laughs> of what you would like to see. I might have to let these sit for a little bit before I stuff the pineapple slices in them because I don't they're a little soft and I don't want them to like lose their shape. But how cool are these? I'm just gonna try. Sticking it in the side here. It's not bad. Just gotta be really careful. signs on these that say don't eat but I really think these are gonna look great when I stick them on a cake stand and make them look like real cupcakes
I'm really trying not to smash them, but it's hard to get this in there. And I don't like this one. This is one of the first ones I made. Get that out of there. There we go. So I'm going to spray these with the rubbing alcohol. And I'm going to add some glitter. And then I'm going to come back in probably 24 hours and unmold them. And cross my fingers that they are pretty yellow and not brown or orange. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, it has been 24 hours, so I just wanted to unmold a few of these for you guys. See how awesome they turned out. They went back to yellow. I got that perfect brown color in there. Super happy with them. And they smell, look how easy they pop out. It's crazy. They came right out of there. No peeling involved. They just popped right out. And <clears throat> they smell so good. Just push them out and they come right out. That is amazing. I'm in love. I think I'm gonna do a version of these in like a sliced cake form. I think that would be really neat. Let's do one more here. If you guys are interested in one of these, the next soap release is on March 31st and you can grab one of these beautiful pineapple upside down cupcakes. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in any of the soaps that you see me make on this channel, check out my Etsy shop. I list them on there so whatever's available you guys can purchase. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more fun soap making videos. You guys can leave me any questions or comments down below. I promise I will get back to you. And until next time guys, smell you later.